Howdy, y'all. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Wait, what's going on here? This was just the... Hey, what's going on? I had this all... It worked before. What's going on? I didn't change anything. Anyways, how y'all doing? I just uh, wanted to come over here and do a little uh, something, something. A little something, something, because it came to my head. It's just like I... These things just... I don't know. It, to me, what it was... This is what I wanted to convey. Uh, to me, it's kind of like when I was going to school for... All the computer stuff. Um, I couldn't pass their test. I studied all their stuff and could not pass their test. I couldn't. I don't know why. I, you know, I went and I concentrated so much and I tried to cram all that into my head and I tried to memorize everything and I took the test once and failed spectacularly. And I had more tests to take after that. So it's like, what the heck? I know all this stuff. What's going on here? That's when I figured it out. And I also figured out, well, I also, I will say this again. I have never learned how to fix computers. I was pretty good at what I did, but I never learned how to fix computers. I learned how to take tests and that was about it. And the way I did that was I figured out how the person writing the test wrote the test. If you figure out the style of writing, you don't need to learn anything. You don't even have to open a book. I'm sorry, but it's true. At least for me anyway, because I just figured out how they were asking the questions. And the answers, it was all multiple choice. The answers were self-evident after that, after you figured out how this, whoever wrote or edited the book, because probably several people um, wrote the questions, but one person edited it. And it's obvious, super obvious. And so, yeah, I got all sorts of Microsoft certifications and I got an A plus and I got all sorts of shit, but <coughs> I don't think I ever really learned it. I just learned how they wrote the test and I was able to pass <coughs> anyway. So from that societal failure, um, brings me to, I think what is serving me in my next phase of life, which is, this stuff here, you know, and just for me having fun, I'm just sitting here and I, I, like I said, I just finished learning. I haven't put it all together, but I know all the parts to Sweet Home Alabama now. And if you learn how people write, That is another Skinnerd song. Probably no one's ever heard of me and three people on the planet. Um, it's on, sorry, it's on Give Me Back My Bullets album, which is probably their least selling of the original band's albums. And uh, uh, the song is called Trust. And um, it just came to me. It just, I'm sitting here just saying, wow, my thumb feels okay with this Band-Aid on it right now. What what changed? And so I'm just enjoying being able to play a little bit. And, and I just... Uh, <laughs> if you hear it then you can then you hear it you know so um yeah that's it a little rant on uh mainstream stuff again I, why, why am i so down on mainstream everything but you know educational system is i i i have pieces of paper that say i learn things and i can tell you i never learned anything pass their tests anyways but serving me kind of good now because you know this is fun always look up i'll see you then peace <laughs>